Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. Someone asked us, how do we create our short video that we used in one of our one page websites? And we did it all in Canva. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It is dead, dead simple. What you do, you go into Canva and we're just gonna open up desktop wallpaper just because it's a nice size and we can resize it if we want, but that's a pretty good one to start with. What we then did is we went over to photos and we did a search for photos for, I think it was female bionic or female future. And we eventually found an image. Now I'm just gonna go back to photos because it will be under my recently used. There you go. So it's this image here. And if I drop the image there, you can basically see it's a vertical image. Okay, with someone standing with a blue, bluey, bluey, neony color in the background. Okay, so I had this image. Let me just delete that. I'm now going to add the image like that. So if you add it like slowly, you get the full image. If you just add it like that, it just goes fully on the background. Great. Image one. What I then did was duplicate that. So rather than hitting add page, I duplicated it. So I have both images now. Okay, duplicated. Now image one at the top there, I went on to effects and I scrolled down until I got to the slice option. And I basically just played around with this until I was like, right, which effect do I like? And in the end, I went for the sliced one here. This one was a little bit just too crazy. That just wasn't enough. The sliced one did it for me. That's only on image one. Image two, I clicked on it. And this time again, in effects, okay. But rather than like changing, adding a slicing effect or modifying the colors or anything like that, I did background remover. And what it does is remove the background. I mean, look at that. Background's gone. I mean, she's still she's still there. Her bluey color uh, over her is still there, but the but the color is gone. Right. So I went down to the second image, and what I did here is this is where you're gonna have to get used to this because if you just copy and paste that over the first image, this will happen. Okay. So I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna hit paste, and it completely overwrites it. And it's not like that is now in front of the other image. No, it's just completely overwritten it, which is annoying. I right click on the image and I detach the image from the background and it's now shrunken. Don't worry about the shrinking aspect, okay? I then pick the image up and I put it over here. So it's now kind of, it's there. Can you see it? It is there. I mean, look, look, look there you go, it is there. If however you do that and it suddenly goes behind the image, just, click on the big image and just send it to the back, usually. You don't have to do that, but just in case that happens, right. So there they are. I'm then now gonna pick this person up roughly here, and I'm now just gonna increase their size until I get it to the size I want. This image here, I can now move to be roughly about there, like so. So I have the sliced image behind, the original, sliced. I have the lady again in front, but this time full. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click her, not the entire page, just her, okay? And I'm now gonna go to animate. And I now have these options, so I can have a fade in, I could have a breathe in, I could have a stomp in, like so. And what I, what I went for was, there you go, no, it was, um, there you go, neon. I went for the neon effect. It's a four to five second effect. And all it does is, look, let me just show you again what it does. That's all it does, it just kind of does that little glitchy effect because that's what I wanted to achieve for the one page website. Great, that's now been applied and it's five seconds long. I can change this if I want, but I'm gonna leave it at five seconds. I go to download and I'm gonna download that as an MP4 video. Now at this point, a lot of you will be gonna go, whoa, we don't wanna start sticking a heavy duty video on our website. You are gonna be so surprised at how big this video is once it's downloaded. And let me show you, so it's just downloading, Ding, 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 ding. It's now done. We go over to my downloads page. Look at it. It is 409 KBs. And let me just open it and hit play. This is what it's going to do. And it will loop every four or five seconds. It's just going to keep looping. Right. So that's the video. Okay. If I now just go over to the website and just show you how I applied it. So here we are in the one page website that we created as an example. If I scroll down to this video here, so we've uploaded the video. It's only 400 KB because it's only five seconds long. We just did a self-hosted video, self-hosted. And then over here, we picked the video because we've uploaded it. Let me just escape for that. We then added it in, basically, 
and we've just said auto play, play on mobile. Mobile doesn't always play, just remember that, okay? So bear that in mind. And then uh, there's no sound and it's just gonna keep looping. And we also got rid of the player controls. We don't really wanna see that, so we took that away. And there's no need for a download. What we did do though was a poster image. So in Canva, um, before we created the video, I should have mentioned this, before we created the video, when we first dragged it over, I downloaded it as a PNG as well compressed and all of that stuff, do all of that, okay, so that we now have an image. So if the video does not play, because of certain phones don't automatically play, we have this image, which is a static image, okay, here it is, it is a static image, it is not a video, okay, that is always there in the back, well, over the video if it's not going to play. Now, don't leave that blank, because it's annoying if, like, the video doesn't play, or you have a play button, so have a poster image there, and that's it. That is literally just adding in a, like look, you can see it working away there. Every four to five seconds, it's gonna do that old glitch effect, which is really cool. And that's like just with Canva. So we just used an image, duplicated it, made a slice effect on uh, version one. On version two, we removed the background, put that back in front and then animated the lady. So she basically goes da -da -da -da, like that. <laughs> Okay, um, like, subscribe, see you soon.